To be a leader, one of the most important thing you need to have is what we call the spirit of humility. You have to think less of who you are, less of what you have accomplished. You have to be very modest in the things that you do. Don't talk about yourself. Let people talk about you. The problem that we have too with social media, and I'm even in that mess sometimes, we're trying to promote ourselves so that people would recognize us and would know who we are. But let me tell you, if you are humble and you make sure that you believe what God has spoken about you and you just do and believe by faith what the Lord has spoken over you, step by step, step by step, you would notice that after some time you will make a name for yourself. The problem that we have, we listen too much to people's opinion. And because we listen too much for people's opinion, we miss our own assignment. It doesn't matter how people think about you. What matters the most is how God thinks about you. Can I hear an amen? So, so in these classes, it's very important for us to understand that principles are enduring laws that help us to find the right way to make a decision. Somebody said it is an action plan that somebody is presenting to you and it is you that have to make a choice. When God said, do as you want, do to others as you want others to do you, he's giving you an action plan. He's, he's giving you a proposition, a godly principle, how you can come into the law of sowing. The Bible said, whatever you sow, you will reap. So if you want others to do sim simply uh, 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 the same thing you, Jesus said, start sowing love. You want love? Start giving love or start showing love. You want others to help you? Help others to bring them into their destination. Uh, in 2002, when I came back from uh, America studying, the, you wouldn't believe it. I had this paper, you know, we went through the school, cumulative. We were at least in the top 25 best uh, uh, marks, you know. So in America, if you're a good, a great student, they will put it for you, cumulative. You know, we were not in the top five, but we were at least in the top, I think we were in the top 15. And the Bible says, you can have knowledge and boost and that will lead to your fall. So God told me, I asked God to come back to Suriname and God told me you can go back to Suriname but as long as I do not release you, you don't let them know what you know. You serve your leader. You help your leader to come in his destiny. And while you're helping your leader to come in your destiny, I will make your destiny. So if Jesus said in Matthew 7, 12, do to others as you want others to do to you, one of the first thing as a person, you have to see as an assignment, help others to become what God want them to become. Help them into the destination. Every one of us has an assignment, but God will, will assign you to somebody who has to fulfill, fulfill a certain purpose, a certain assignment. Your job is to make sure that you are somebody that will help that person. You will push that person. You, you, you will put your money, you will put your prayer, you put your energy. You, you help that, purpose, that person to fulfill his assignment. Because you're sowing for the future. 
I remember my apostle was building this building in God's River, Begonia Strat. And I would go around, you know, and, and try to find money to, so that I can show to help him to build that project. I help him build one project. I give it all. It's not a life anymore, but there are many people that can witness that I give it all. Today, in fulfilling my own assignment, God has given this church where I'm, you know, the leader of, as we're speaking to the more than 18 properties with houses. You know, you can give the Lord a clap offering. But you have to understand, there was a moment that I'm, as your leader, was helping my leader. So, so when you help me out to fulfill my assignment, I don't know what God will do to you in 10 years. But you have seed in the ground. The spirit of humility, it pushes you to be humble, even though you know that you are smarter than your leader, you're richer than your leader, you know, you have more creative thinking than your leader. It doesn't matter. What matters the most is that you help him to fulfill his purpose. And while you help him, I say again, you're planting seed in the ground for your future. 